Hey guys, this is Leslie. I'm um, just doing a Walt Disney World haul. I went to Disney World about two weeks ago, got married at Disney's Grand Floridian, so that was really exciting. I think I'm going to make a whole separate video about the wedding planning process, what the day of looked like, um, just all those details. I think you now it's kind of hard to find videos about that, so I plan on doing that in the future. But right now I just want to show you guys some of the things that I bought. And I mean, clearly you can see the castle in the back, so I'll get to that eventually. But I'll start out with what's in front of me now. I'll start with what I got my mom. So like I said, I stayed at the Grand Floridian and they had this purse. Um, it's a Dooney and Burke purse. And you can see that it's subtle Disney. So it has like the Mickey and a few other characters. And she actually saw it in the store um, and she wanted it, but it was a little bit more than she wanted to pay. And my mom's been really supportive and helpful with wedding and just life in general. So I thought I would get this for her and make it a surprise. So I'll probably send this her way um, in a couple months or so when I get back into town where she's at. So this was $3.28. Um, like I said, at the Grand Floridian Hotel, they had one of the shops. I don't remember what the shop name was, but this was at the Grand Floridian. And in there too, another present that I got her, and this was at Magic Kingdom. Um, I don't remember which store, but it was down Main Street. All the stores are kind of connected. If you go into one, you just like go down the line and you can just like walk through all of them. So that's what I did for a bunch of them. So this is an apron and it has the Tres Caballeros. So I watched the Tres Caballeros when I was little. Um, my mom played it for me. We actually watched it together. So it has fond memories for me. So I got this for her. Um, it also has like little beads and some tassels. I don't know how practical this is for the kitchen. It doesn't have any pockets or anything like that. It's more for like the cuteness effect and it's super cute. It was $35, so that's what that looked like. So $35 for this, um, so I got her an apron. I also picked up one for myself because I actually do like wearing aprons. I like to wear aprons around the house when I'm cleaning. I think my mom built this association of like, when you wear an apron, it'll make you more of an effective cleaner. And I've just always been like that. And cooking, cleaning, I just put the apron on. I mean, it is practical, you don't get stuff on yourself. Um, so that's what I got for her. Some other things that I got. So when I was at the Magic Kingdom coming off of the Pirates of Caribbean ride, they had these socks. So I got these socks from my husband, these Coco socks at Miguel, which is really cute. Um, it is sparkly, I don't know if it's picking up. I like them a lot. I think these are unisex. I bought them for my husband. He likes wearing these kind of higher socks. I think these were 10 or $15. I'm not exactly sure. I think they also had these in the Mexican pavilion at Epcot, so you can get them there as well. Um, let's get another apron. So I bought another apron because like I said, I love aprons. So this apron, this was $35 as well. It has the Mickey premium bar with a bite taken out of it. I think it was, it's just super cute and I will be using this. It has the adjustment for the neck. Um, so I thought this was really, really nice. And I think I got this also at the Magic Kingdom. Majority of the stuff that I got is from the Magic Kingdom. Um, so that's the other Tres Caballeros apron. But I also got at the Magic Kingdom and I did my scroll work before I went to Disney and just watching other YouTube videos to see what it is that I wanted so that I could, you know, keep an eye out for those things because it's easy to get overwhelmed with stuff, not just with the amount of stuff, but also the amount of people, right? You're trying to like wiggle your way around and it was pretty crowded then. It was right before spring break so i think and after the disney princess run so it was that window of time um but it was still pretty popping so i got this sweater so it has like kind of like an ombre effect it has the blue and the pink and i think it's really cute i think this one was yeah it has a tag this was 45 dollars and it is fuzzy on the inside so you can keep a little bit more snoodled up yeah, I really like this one. I mean, in reality, 
This is like the material and stuff. I could probably get something cheaper material-wise at like Target or something, but we're going based off of the Disney pricing system. So based on that, this wasn't too, too bad. Pick that up. From the Grand Floridian, I saw this t-shirt. I think it's unisex. I don't think it's just for guys. Even if it was for guys, whatever. I wear whatever I want. This has the Grand Floridian on there. And then in the back, it has a picture of the building itself. So I thought that was kind of nice. Just as a memory that we stayed there and all that good stuff. And I think this was $25 for this t-shirt. So that I got. More clothing items. I saw this in the Magic Kingdom in one of those stores on Main Street. This, I think it's a spirit jersey. Yeah, it's a spirit jersey. So this was um, $85. It was pretty pricey, um, but it was so cute. It has the gold and what really sold me was on the back. So it has the 50th anniversary castle, Walt Disney World spelt in gold. And then also it has flecks of gold. So I thought that made it a little bit magical and cute so i got this for myself um they only had a size large and these do run pretty big so if you're a person who likes form-fitting tops this isn't really it and even if you did get a, a size small these aren't that style they're meant to be worn baggy and i live here in boston so i do like to buy long sleeve things a little bit longer so i can layer under them so i got that and something that I got at Epcot. So it was like a little kiosk stand. It wasn't necessarily a store that you walk into and I don't remember what it was in front of, but I got these. And if anybody's familiar with the Great British Baker, I love the Great British Baker, they use these. So you slip your hands in them and so you don't burn like your tummy or your arms when you're grabbing whatever food item out of the oven. And I thought that was smart. And I remember, I think when I was watching The Great British Baker a long time ago that I looked up, you know, to buy this. And I mean, this is about right. This was $20, so I didn't think it was that bad. And it's Alice in Wonderland. I thought it was kind of cute for the pattern. And I do need something to protect myself. Like not that long ago, I don't know if you guys can see, but I did burn my arms reaching into the oven. So hopefully use this and that won't happen to me. So I got that. I got a pair of ears and I bought this at the shop in the Grand Floridian. So these are part of the 50th anniversary. I know when I was watching some YouTube videos, people are like, that's expensive and it looks cheap because of the bow. I like what I like. I just thought that these looked really cute and these were a little bit more. Typically the mini ears are about $30, $29.99. I think these were $35 or $40, something like that. But I thought they were just too cute to pass up on. I wore these to Epcot. I don't know, I just really like it. Part of the 50th anniversary, so got those. Another pair of ears actually that I got from the France Pavilion in Epcot were these ears, they're macarons, and these are plastic, okay? and they are pretty heavy as well. So I'm gonna twist that bow around. And I think these were $29.99 too. I think these were $29.99, but they're kind of heavy. Like it's not terrible, but I don't know if I'd wanna wear this like all day in the parks. I just bought them because they're cute. And I collect mini ears and I wanna do like what I've seen on Pinterest where people hang them against the wall and make it look like they're floating. So I have plans for those. Um, also from the Magic Kingdom, I got a pen. I always see these all over the parks. Like I've been to different parks around the world, like Disneyland Paris and Tokyo Disney. And they always sell these pens. And for whatever reason, I never get them. I always think in my mind, like that's too much money. Just pass on it, just pass on it. For whatever reason, this trip, I'm like, get the pen, just do it. So I did. I don't remember exactly how much this was. All I remember is that it was pricey. I think it was between like $7.99 or $10, something like that. Um, but it's cute, it has like this little bow on it. It just makes me happy. So I got one of those. In Epcot, I went to the Japan Pavilion 
and they had this cute towel and has little cats on them. So that Studio Ghibli movie, that Kiki's Delivery Service. And what I liked was that these are stitched on. So the cats are stitched. So it made me feel like it's better quality. I didn't feel that bad about how much I paid for it. I think I paid like $10 for this little towel. And when I actually visited Japan, a big thing is that they buy small towels like this. So when they go to the restroom, they have the towel to dry up with. Um, so it just reminded me of my trip to Japan and also I just thought it was really cute. So I got that and it wasn't too bad of a price. Also at the Japan Pavilion, they had, I don't know what to call this. There's probably an official name and I don't know what it is, but it's this cloth, like this fabric and it has the cutest little fish pattern on it. And it was $9.95. And what you do is you get like your bento box or like your food container and you can wrap it up real cute. And there was a point in time where I was doing that. Like if I just had one container of food, I would just put it in this instead of taking a bulky lunch box. Um, so I thought I could get this and start using it. Um, and it wasn't that bad of a price. It was about $10 or so. Um, next item that I got was from the Magic Kingdom, so like I said, I got married there and I went inside the Christmas store and they had this cute Mickey and Minnie ornament and I thought I would buy it and maybe place it like on my desk or somewhere in my room just so when I look at it, I just have like those cute memories. This stuff was pricey, FYI. This was $26.99. When I saw the price and I flipped it, I was like, Lord have mercy, but once again, this was one of those trips where I haven't been to Disney World since I was like 15 or 16 years old. And this Disneyland trip was special, it was for my wedding. So I thought, you know what, just get the ornament. It has significance. It's not like you're gonna keep it in a box. I'm gonna keep this out all year round. So I got that. And then I got, I think this is in Main Street too, in Magic Kingdom. Um, I'm a dog person right here, it says on the cup. It has the different Disney dogs. So you can see like Pongo and Purdy and Pluto and Nana and Max, just super adorable. And it also has a little paw print inside. It's also an interesting shape. You know, it's not just like the standard coffee cups. It's a little bit more wide. And I like these types of cups for, I'm that type of person, yes, I eat cereal out of a mug and I will eat ramen out of a mug as well. I don't know if it's because it's like easier to like have it closer to your mouth so you don't like splash it all over yourself as opposed to using a bowl on the table. But I got this and I know that I'm gonna be using this. I only bought mugs that I knew that I was gonna use and that I really liked because I started going mug crazy, especially for Starbucks mugs, and it was getting out of control. So now, just mugs that I really, I'm gonna use and really like. And we'll move on to cup stuff again too, actually. I actually have coffee in this, but I bought one of these. When you stay at the resorts, the Disney resorts, you can get one of these mugs, and this is the 50th anniversary. I got the yellow lid, they had a blue lid as well. It has like this little snappy thing and it holds pretty good. So this is, this was $19.99, I think, yeah, it was $20. And I actually bought it like an hour before we left our resort, before we checked out, um, just because it sparked nostalgia. It reminded me of the cups that my parents would use, you know, those cups that they sell at 7-Eleven and Quick Trip, places like that. So it just reminded me of my parents and growing up, and I know that I'm gonna use it, and I've been using it a lot. It just, I don't know, I just love carrying this thing around. I'll put my coffee, water, whatever in it. The interesting thing too is that with the 1999, it's like unlimited refills. And when me and my husband were in the Uber going to the airport out of Florida, the Uber driver was talking to us about this, and this is part of the Uber driver, I don't know, but he said that there's like a chip in this thing, so when people are refilling, there's a 12 minute window before you can get another refill. And I actually thought about that. I was like, are people just getting refills like crazy? Like, isn't, I don't know. I feel like Disney is like wastefulness. Like if kids were just like, no, not this one. No, not this one. Because like Disney is gonna get that coin. So that made sense to me. And when I traveled to France, to Paris a while back ago, like in 2019, 
I remember going to a burger place and yes, I went to a burger place in France, but they had a QR code system. So you'd scan it, you get your soda. Um, and if you made a mistake, you made a boo-boo, you fooped up and got like Diet Coke instead of regular Coke, you had to go to the register, tell the person they did whatever they did and you could go ahead and get it again. So they had like a similar scanning system to that as well. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Like I said, I don't know how true it is. It makes sense to me, I kind of believe it, but whatever, I didn't necessarily get it for the beverages. I just got it for the cup. Another cup that I got or mug thing was this one. So I don't know how well this is picking up. But it says the 50th and it has the different characters like Dumbo and, you know, the castle and Mr. Toad and different things like that. I thought it was really cute. And I had seen in a YouTube video a tote bag and it had this pattern on it and it was super cute. I went to Starbucks. They were all sold out of the tote bag and I was bummed out. And this wasn't even in the Starbucks store in Magic Kingdom. This was in one of the stores that, like I said, was all linked up. Um, they just had like a little stand and had some Starbucks cups on it. And I saw this one and I was like, yes, please. Um, it can hold hot or cold beverages. It is like a stainless steel. I will say the lid. Hear that snap? It's kind of a struggle to pop open. If you're concerned about spilling, there will be no spill. I have actually taken all kinds of different beverages. I put it in my backpack because I take a backpack to work. Nothing's come out of this sucker. It is sealed tight. So, I mean, I got it for the pattern. It is practical. It's just kind of like a pain in the butt to pop off, but it is what it is. Um, something else that I got in Magic Kingdom was a pen. Another pen, I think I just went all in for the pen. I'm like, if I'm gonna be paying dumb prices for pens, like why not a couple more? So I got this Pluto one and he's just got the flippity floppity ears and it makes me so happy. So I'll probably, I have like a cup in my room that I set pens in. So I'll set this one along with my mini pen and just like, maybe I'll use it occasionally. I think it was our same price range, like between $7.99 and $10, something like that. It's price pricey. Um, what else did I get? Why not? The third pen that I got. <laughs> this is the last one. But I saw this one. This one actually has a price. This one is $7.99 and it's cute. It has like the holographic and this thing spins and it's the 50th anniversary and it has the different characters like Donald Duck, Mickey, Goofy, and I thought that was kind of cute. And it is the clicky type of pen, which I like and also might be that annoying person that just like goes like this. I'll try not to when I'm in meetings though. Uh, from Epcot, I got this skirt. This skirt was, uh, even for Disney prices, it's like oh, that much. But I couldn't and it was special and it was in the Italy pavilion and it was this skirt that's like a mustard yellow. It has different patterns on it, like the Colosseum. It has Mickey and Minnie just strolling around. It says Chabella. Like, it's just cute. It has like a little coffee thing. This is $79.95. It was expensive. Also, these, these run small. These run small. So if you like looser fitting clothes, mm, I don't know. This I got in the large for somebody like my size so maybe i should have gotten an extra large because i don't like things too too tight but i did use it it was really cute i'm planning on using it again that was another big thing too despite how much i paid for this stuff i do intend on using all of these things not just shoving in a drawer and be like yeah whatever i want to actually have these things out and make use um i went to a different store in the grand floridian it was more like that store that has like you know, some medical supplies and some snacks, like non-Disney stuff, like Fritos and things like that. Um, but they still sold Disney items and they had this tea. It's topsy-turvy tea. I feel like I got this Alice in Wonderland tea years ago when I was in Disneyland and the tea bags are nothing like special. It's more about the packaging, the cute name, and I'm a sucker for packaging and I do drink tea. Me and my husband really like tea. I'm more of an iced tea person, but I'm trying to get into hot tea. So I got this. Also got 
this in Magic Kingdom in one of the stores along Main Street. These are the little teacups. It has the little hook. It is a sanitizer, the gel sanitizer. I can't remember how much this was. I think it's like between $7.99 and $10. It has to be something around that price range. But I thought that once it runs out, I can just buy a large bottle of sanitizer and keep refilling it in this little bottle. And if I want something scented, I tend to do with um, these type of gels is I'll put like tea tree oil, orange oil, mint oil, just to give it like a little, a little scent if I want. A little tip there. Uh, I bought this at that Grand Floridian store. It's just mints. They sold this inside the parks. They sold this in all kinds of different places. It's not that hard to find these mints. They're pretty cute. These are $4.99, I believe, and they have the different characters. The mints shaped as characters. I think I bought this as a gift, to be honest. To give to someone. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. It's yet to be decided. Uh, the Grand Floridian, they had a store upstairs that was really cute, and I got this like ginormous keychain. <laughs> when I first picked it up, I thought because it was in packaging, I thought it was a mirror because of how big this was. It's not a mirror, my friend, it's just a keychain, but it's nice. So it has this type of keychain, it has the lobster claw, and I'm extra, and I like to have keychains hanging off of my purses, my backpacks. So I definitely will make use of this. Um, it has like Minnie and the castle in the 50s. So I thought that was really cute. I bought another keychain at the Grand Floridian and I just realized today is gown. That's another thing too. Some of the keychains are kind of cheap. So the actual thing will like fall off, right? Like I still had the lobster claw attached to my purse, but this like completely fell off. I had like one of those old school Mickey hat keychains. I'm bummed out that I lost that, but I have this one, I'll make use of this. I bought, this is one thing that I actually like, I'll be for real, I don't know why I got this. I think the colors just like grabbed me and I was like, popcorn, why not? So I got this 50th anniversary popcorn. I think it was like $7.99. It's no particular flavor. It's just naturally and artificially flavored. That's the flavor. Shuggy, process Shuggy. <laughs> so I'll get into this later. Let's stick with the sugar theme. I always see the Goofy's candy and I never get it. And I hear people on their YouTube videos say how delicious it is and blah, blah, blah. So I decided to pick up um, two bags of it and I got the sour and I did already get into them. The sour character gummies, they are really nice. Goofy candy, this is not cheap. It's like $6.99. I'm just gonna keep saying that. Everything's not cheap. <laughs> these are $6.99 and I don't know why, but I was like, something I'm in like, where are these made? It's made in Spain, if anybody wants to know. So is that why the markup is there? I don't know. They are really good. They're um, softer. They're not like super hard. You know how some gummies can get and just like unpleasantly chewy. This isn't unpleasantly chewy. They're uh, also sugar coated on the outside. I really like it. They're pretty cute. I don't, once again, I don't know why they're that expensive, even with being made in Spain. Like if anybody's familiar with Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's gets their candies from all over the place, like Germany and stuff at half the price. Love my boy Joe, but Disney pricing system. The next candy is these sour cherry balls. And if anybody's curious, these are made in Mexico. <laughs> so these little Mexican cherry balls were the same price as the other one. I think it was like $6.99 or something. They are good. They are tasty. I feel like I could probably find this somewhere else, but eh, this is for the trip and they are good and I am eating through them. So I also got these mini ears. I don't know if these are new or not, but they just made me happy and I like it with my collection. They kind of look like they go with my outfit right now. Should I just wear these? I will just wear these right now. So I got these. These are $29.99. And I think I got these at the Magic Kingdom in one of those stores. What else did I get? So when I was staying at the Grand Floridian, they had a store called Basin. So it is like skincare products. 
Um, I picked up some little bars of soap. I was gonna pick up just like one bar of soap. It was cute, it had a little like, Mickey shape. I flipped over and it said $10 and I was like, oh, and I was wandering around the store and I saw that they had these packs. So, and I wanted to try a different kind of scents, but I didn't want to spend like $40 on four bars of soap, not even knowing I've never tried that brand before. These are 404. Um, and I mean, they still have a pattern. If you're okay with some of the patterns being cut off, then no big deal. I mean, you still get some of the cuteness, but you get a variety of cuteness, which I can appreciate. So I got two of these. So it's 434, so of course it's based on, you know, the weight of it. But I thought that one of them can make like a good little present. Also, I'll try one for myself and then give one away. Um, I got my friend one of these bath bombs and I think it came with somewhere. It came with like the little card that described what the bath bombs are. So I can find that out a little bit later. What I have been using, and I don't have it here with me, is one of their shampoo bars. It's, um, I think it's oat milk. It's lovely. I love that oat milk shampoo bar. I've only used it once, but as soon as that thing hit my head, I was like, hello. <laughs> I used to get the shampoo bars from Lush and they were okay. And I just like completely like stopped it um, because I had my hair like, I started um, highlighting my hair. Now I'm back to brown. You can still kind of see it's a little bit light. So I want to, you know, repair my hair after, you know, doing two years of like highlighting damage to it. And I felt like that oat milk was just like really conditioning and lathered up really nice. I probably will buy another one of those bars and maybe try another one of their products. You can get these online. So even the sample pack, because when I went online, I saw that they had the four piece sample pack online. So you can get those on their um, online site. And if you're staying at a Disney hotel, they have like some, a car that they give you when you check in called like extra magic something like that and it gives you discounts in a few places so at Disney Springs there was like a discount for one of the restaurants and a few other places that paddlefish restaurant and they had 10% off for basin products so I was able to use the 10% off on that now that it's like taxes oh I found a little paper for that cloth thing if you guys can see it this is what it's intended to look like when you package it up so that's kind of cute that's what I plan on doing that was the basin stuff what else do I have in here so actually I want to talk about some stuff that I got on the shop Disney website so when you're out in the park some of the things are not like the easiest to transport home. So what I decided to do was go on the Shop Disney website, which I encourage everybody to do even before you go to the parks because a lot of times they have sales on things. So like 20% off or you spend $150 and you get you know, 30% off of your purchase, which is the way to go, especially if you're getting like the spirit jerseys. So I actually did that recently. I had this green spirit jersey that was really cute and it was $85 because it was like fuzzy and had the imprint. It's one of the fancier spirit jerseys. Um, and I was able to get, I think like 20% off because I got it through the shop Disney. So that's what I did. I waited until I got back home because I really wanted these guys. I wanted the set, the 50th anniversary plush of Mickey and Minnie. These were $30 each. Um, so that's another thing too, like I said, if you're willing to be patient and wait and keep your eye out, um, these can go on sale or part of those deals, like 20% off, 30% off. So instead of paying $60, you could pay like 50 or whatever, it depends what the deal is going on. So I got these two and these didn't occupy the space in my luggage, which was good. And when I was at the Magic Kingdom, I saw, and that's what I'm saying, like it is easy to get sidetracked. It is easy to be walking around with your stuff and like forget something put something down and pick something else up. And that's what happened to me. I had this candle in my hand and I was like, oh, it smells so good. It's cinnamon sugar. It says cinnamon sugar on there, but I'm not calling it the churro candle because that's what it smells like to me. It smells like a churro. And this is ceramic. It is heavy. This was $35. And I was bummed out because when I looked at my bag, when I got back from the parks to the hotel, I was like, where's my candle? They didn't put the candle in the bag. The lady didn't ring it up. So she just left it on the counter. 
which I was like, oh, I'm glad that I wasn't charged for it, but I really wanted the candle. And I thought, oh, it's probably park exclusive. I can't find it. I went online. They had it. Yay. And they shipped it to me. And this, like I said, it's heavy. So if you're carrying this in your luggage, it will add weight. Um, so I got one for myself and for my friend, which I was happy about. Oh, I almost forgot this. Another Grand Floridian item. I'm a big fan of magnets, so I got a Grand Floridian magnet, and this says that it's $12.99, so that's how much I paid for that. Uh, <laughs> a glow cube. So they had all kinds of like places to go in the Grand Floridian, like the Enchanted Rose, they had the restaurant Narcozzi's and Citrico, so I went to those places. And the drinks were, I mean, right, you're going there, so it's not like it's gonna be like, happy hour going on it was like $15.99 $17.99 like drinks are around that kind of price range and I don't know one night I was like well if I'm paying that much might as well get like a little glow cube out of it so I got a drink it came with glow cube and glow cube came home uh, and I got one of the bags too so at the Magic Kingdom they had these reusable bags I got a smaller one it's floating around somewhere they're a couple of bucks not that bad pretty cute I like that um the last thing that I got this is from shop Disney is this ginormous castle I saw it in another girl's video and I was like oh my god I love that so much when I was little my mom used to take us to the Disney store and they had miniature castles but they had like Polly Pocket size if anybody's familiar with Polly Pocket they like teeny tiny little characters this is a big boy he's <laughs> large and in charge and the characters are a little bit bigger but i want to use it as like decor i saw another girl in her video that she had it sitting on top of her dresser and i want to do something similar but it's just fun and yes i do press it on occasion so it mimics the fireworks which i think is pretty cute I do, like I said, plan on taking it out. Um, I don't have any kids, but if I did, I feel like they would really love this. I would love it as a kid. It has a button where, you know, the lights go on and it changes colors and stuff. So I'll pull this down. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it has the whole crew. Mickey, Minnie, Goofy. So that's really nice. And then here you can see like what's on the back. So it has like, the Dumbo ride, it has a slide, it's it's fun, it's interactive, it has the teacups that can spin. So that's pretty cute. And this thing, like I said, was pricey. This was $124.99, something like that. $125, I'm pretty sure it was around that price range. Um, and when I went online and I looked the first time, right? This is even before I went on my trip, it was sold out. And then when I came back, I was like, yeah, why not see if they have it again? And they did. So I snatched that. Certain items, like, I don't know, not waiting to see if the sales are going to pop up and if this one will be a part of this sale, just because like you can, you can just tell when you're doing your research and it sells out and it's like, okay, this is kind of a hot commodity. They're probably not going to, you know, put it as part of one of the sale deals. So that. I think that's it for now on what I got from Disney World. Like I said, I'm planning on making a video on like the wedding planning stuff. Maybe I'll come out with a few other videos of like, I don't know, day of my life, other things that I buy. Like I said, I'm here in Boston. I recently moved kind of recently, a few months ago from Arizona. So it's just a transition and I think I'm gonna continue to make videos on this channel. Um, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and have a great day. Bye.